I'm Paul Levinson, and welcome to Light on Light Through, episode 321. My review of the Time Traveler's Wife finale on HBO Max this past Sunday, which I thought was, well, superb. Even though, there'll be big spoilers ahead, even though it was the ugliest episode of the series. I mean, palpably brutal, with Henry's naked time-traveling body hitting the floor, sometimes concrete, so many times it was making my eyes sore, not to mention my soul. And that was the least of it. Far worse was, one, Henry discovering that he's aging more quickly than normal, non-time-traveling people, and he'll be dying, what, when he's in his early 50s? Two, he can't give Claire what she most wants, given his frequent absence, even when he's alive. And of course, what Claire most wants is a child. But it seems every time he gets her pregnant, the embryo or fetus time-travels out of her body, and of course, cannot survive. As a result, Henry has a vasectomy because he can't bear to keep doing that to her. But in a happy ending, or at least a hopeful ending, Claire encourages a younger, quote, asshole, unquote, Henry to keep seeing her because he has not yet had the vasectomy. And there this wondrous wild story ends. Now, as I've been saying, I certainly hope not. There are possibilities and all kinds of exciting avenues to explore. Maybe Henry can figure out a way to extend his life. Maybe he can connect with some genius gynecologist who can bring his and Claire's baby to term. I don't know. I'm not a medical expert, but I do know I much enjoyed the six episodes of this story, even though they had their flaws, and I, for one, would be up any time to seeing more. Great acting by Theo James and Rose Leslie in the title roles, and I thought Josh Stamberg was very impressive in this episode as Henry's father. Kudos to everyone who made this short season, and I look forward to seeing its continuation someday, somewhere. And I hope you enjoyed this review of what I hope is just the season finale, the first season finale of The Time Traveler's Wife. One thing is for sure, I won't be back here next week with a review of the next episode of The Time Traveler's Wife, because even if there is a second season, I'm sure that's at least a year or more away from getting onto any screen. But I will have a review for you very soon of episode 1.8, The Man Who Fell to Earth. And there's a new episode of Star Trek Strange New Worlds going up today, and I will be certainly reviewing that. By the way, today would be Thursday, June 23rd. And let's see, hey, for all mankind, there'll be a new episode of that on Apple TV+. Plus. In the meantime, stay safe, stay sound. And you know that war is still raging in Ukraine. These Russian fascists are relentless in their bombardment of these innocent people of Ukraine who all they want is their own country. So do whatever you can to help them get these Russians out of their country. The Light on Light Through podcast Athens, 2042 A.D. 
She ripped the paper in half, then ripped the halves, then ripped what was left again into bits and pieces of history that could have been. Sierra Waters had read once that, years ago, it was thought that men made love for the thrill, while women made love for the sense of connection it gave them. Curled up with a good book says, Sierra Waters is sexy as hell. You can find out more about The Plot to Save Socrates by Paul Levinson at theplottosavesocrates.com. Paul Levinson still codes about an ancient biotech war raging on in secret for centuries.